Hello, this is a quick look at the 2023 Lego City Vet Van Rescue Set. It has just 58 pieces, 5, 8, and it's made for kids aged 4 and up, 4 plus what formerly would have been called Juniors. I built this live over on my Twitch channel along with a bunch of other small sets the same day. It cost me $10, paid $10 US for this, and you can find it tagged on the video. Set includes a cat and a dog. Most people would call this a Frenchie, though you could call it a different type of bulldog as well. Both of these look very good to me. Yep, good face there, good shaping, mold mark on the top, no big deal. Nice printing for this one, including a little bit of the, the chest fur there. And this thing that the cat is on, uh, which the dog will also fit on, is a pet stretcher. This is the vet van rescue set after all. And on the back of the vet van, you bring this down and you can slide this right in. And then you can take the animal to the vet or to the pet hospital to get additional care and it works just fine. Yeah, it's gonna be standing up, it's gonna be in the elements, but you know, it's gonna, especially if it's a dog, it's gonna be able to sniff things. Dog's gonna be a little bit lower, but you know, dogs like to sniff the air and everything. But anyway, that's how that works. I just wanted to keep it nice and small. And I think that's effective and looks good. This is a print here on the side, same print on the other side. Print here for the front, that looks pretty good too. Yeah, not bad at all. Got the lights up here, which work out just fine. Space for one figure to sit. You did see that this set comes with two figures though. If you wanna carry a second figure, you can't have the stretcher in there. You can uh, leave, you can basically bring the person in uh, sitting back here, although the arrangement of the jumpers here is not ideal for that, but you can, you can make a second person sit in the back and uh, just kind of make it work or stand in the back. But all in all, this is not a bad van for the four plus range. I like the colors. I like the prints. The wheels are, the tires are pre-assembled. Excuse me, the wheel holders are pre-assembled onto the chassis. And then you just have to put the tires and wheels together. This works. Set also includes the bowl with a bone and a cookie. And you can kind of throw those in the back as well. It's another situation where you just kind of make it work, but there's not a good accommodation for these. It's just the general space in the back of the van and use it how you can. The figures are kind of excellent, if you ask me. Uh, there was once a time when it was difficult to get generic scrubs or just medical personnel torso prints. Uh, these definitely add, they don't have to be veterinary specific. You can put these in a human hospital, you know, it's just good to get more emergency services folks who are not just cops and firefighters. And yeah, this is this is good. They also have appropriate accessories and not too many of them. Once again, more accessories is you just have to dump in the back of the van along with your second figure, possibly along with the stretcher with the animal as well. Again, could have used a little bit more space. This figure also has an alternate face. This one does not. I'll just show you that as well. And these are the leftover pieces, which are super useful. You don't even have to consider these to be sparrows. Just, it's an extra bone, it's an extra cookie, an extra syringe. All that goes with the set, no waste. The price point of $10 US for a four plus set in 2023 of this size feels fine to me. With the two small animals, it's 10 euros or nine pounds UK. And in many places in the Euro zone, as well as UK, you might be able to find this discounted immediately hopefully, which just makes things even better. I only wish that there was better accommodation with this set for this scenario here of just having everything wrapped up. Of course, you don't have to have the animals there. That's probably asking a little bit too much, but a little bit better space for the second figure. And although this isn't bad, bad, but also the accessories too, because some of them are just kind of tossed in there willy nilly. And yeah, it's not entirely uh, stable right now, but otherwise very, very charming. Good prints, good figures, good animals. Good price too, honestly. Overall, put smiles on my face. I just have to nitpick a little bit about some of the things. Because personally, I've, I've encountered a lot of toys in my day that have a lot of little accessories that you have nowhere to put. And I know for a fact that oftentimes those accessories just end up getting lost. They end up all over the house and they become a pain for the parents and they provide no value to the kids after maybe the first day of play or so. There we go. Those are my thoughts and those are why. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.